<laughs> we took a big risk with this Kickslayer storage locker, but I got a good feeling about this one. Previous owner was uh, I L. Starý čo vás přesně? I don't know who that could be. Okay, let's crack it open. Weird lock. Levi, bring the key. So what are you hoping to find in here? That loot, or at least something we can use for the Hearthstone expansion. It fits. Smiley face emoji. Okay, crew. Let's see what the cat dragged in. Oh. <laughs> this locker is legendary. If we have one goal today, it's to find something absolutely priceless. This looks like a bunch of personal junk. Yeah, keep looking now. Canned food, bottled water, MREs. This guy sure was prepared. Oh, check it out. It's an old tube television. That's worth 200 gold. Really? A, a video cassette player. That's like 300 gold right there. Okay. There's still tapes. 320. Dave, you can't just announce random prices for junk and expect us to believe that's what it's worth. It happens all the time in the storage locker biz. <laughs> Let's fire the sucker up. Outland. Wow. A wild and dangerous world. Where you must scavenge what you need to survive. You will find no justice here. Only despair and darkness. But if you dare enter my realm, you are not. No, that's not what I was going to say. Oh. I should have Outland. A demon hunt. All the stuff in there is from Outland. Man, that place is awesome. There, look, there's probably a bunch of cool stuff we could put in the set in this. Yes, imagine it. Ashes of Outland. Is this ash? This place is filthy. What do you want to do with this skull, boss? Oh, that is the skull of Gul'dan. Illidan hmm. used to hold this whenever he made dramatic emo monologues. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was my favorite monologue. That's worth at least a thousand Apexus crystals. Demon hunters can use the skull of Gul'dan for some pretty intense card draw. But if the skull is here, that means there! The war glaives of Azanoth, Illidan's weapon of choice. Oh, that's uh -huh. an easy 600 Azerite. So with these equipped, the demon hunter could get in like four attacks a turn, right? They don't really mess around. Yeah, it's insane, isn't yes, it? Me. Check this out. Pistelka. Oh. Doesn't work. Fell dog whistle. That's worth 50. 50 what? 50! This whistle really brings a beast to the yard. And with some ingenuity, you can upgrade him. Hey, boss, this one's moving. Oh, yeah, danger. Oh, yeah, danger. Oh, that is an imprisoned observer. So imprisoned demons are dormant for two turns. They can't be interacted with. And then they do something really cool. Yes, ma'am. This one's eye lasers can be devastating, <clears throat> but it's OK. We're safe for two turns. How long did you say? Two turns. Ah! Hey, I can't. Key carrier. <clears throat> That's worth a couple bucks. Hey, I found a spiky, jagged chainsaw and some <clears throat> metal snakes. Oh, weird. Yeah. I don't know what this stuff might be worth. We're gonna call my buddy Chad. He's my go-to guy for jagged, rusty chainsaws and metal snakes. Oh, yeah. What you've got there are relics of a couple of primes. <laughs> Amazing find. Primes are a new mechanic in Ashes of Outland. Here's how they work. They're powerful characters who get shuffled back into your deck when destroyed. Like Kargath's Blade Fist. If he's destroyed, he comes uh -huh. back, rebuilt as chainsaw-handed Kargath Prime. A 10-10 who gives you armor? <clears throat> Nasty. And those snakes belong to Lady Vaj. 
Spell damage is great, but when she comes back, she's bringing a handful of spells with her. In Ashes of Outland, there's a huh. new threat. A rusted legion that's remaking minions into mechanical monstrosities. Yeah, 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 that's, that's great. But, I mean, look at this stuff here. I mean, this is worth at least, like, what? 60,000 Dark Moon Fair tickets? Best I could do is 250. Ah, what does this guy know? He doesn't know anything. I thought you said he was your chainsaw and snake guy. <sighs> yeah, but, you know, the thing with a rusted chainsaw hand is you got to find the right collector. Oh, nice dagger. It's 100 shards. Oh, poisonous. That's like 400 shards. <laughs> poisonous daggers are good times. Just, you know, avoid the uh, pointy end. Secret of the Sera se spadke, yo. Should be fine. Okay. Got some glowing orange mushrooms. Oh, these are glow caps. The Sporagar of Zangermarsh would use these yeah, as a, a form of currency. No, there must be 20 outlandu. glow caps in here. What's that worth? Like 20 glow caps. Oh, the verdant spheres of Kael'thas. Kael'thas is cool. Let's just give everybody Kael'thas. That's worth at least 3,000 timeless coins. Check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out. Two thousand timeless coins. Be careful with those. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold mm. still. I think what you're experiencing is called a, a metamorphosis. Is that good? It depends. Do you like to wear hats? So in this form, as a demon hunter, your hero power does five damage. Wow. I'm starting to really like demon hunters. I know. Metamorphosa. Hey, it's the key to another locker. Oh, wow. Somewhere behind one of these doors, in this maze of storage lockers, is the ultimate artifact. We're gonna find it. We're gonna scour this place. If it takes days, if it takes weeks, we. Hey, hey are... Dave, is this it? Oh, that's it. Cool. <clears throat> Dobrá práce. <clears throat> oh, it's a dark portal. We found a dark portal. Imagine what we could summon with this. Priceless! Priceless! I think we should go inside. Uh, okay, I'm uh, calling Chad. We're to find out what this sucker's worth. Yeah, hey, Chad? Yeah, so um, we found a dark portal. Dark portals are bad. Uh huh. They're very bad. Yeah. You didn't open the dark portal, did you? Mm, maybe. Do not go into the dark portal. I think we should check it out. Si pravda ta pesečko. Everyone's gone. So I guess the locker is mine. There you have it. Ashes of Outland is the next Arsenal expansion. Like that's saying, the I gotta say, scary. Dave Kozak is an absolute national treasure. Yeah, that was. Oh yeah, a big yeah, part. yeah, that was that was uh, that was a great video. Wow, <laughs> so fun. <laughs> All right, well, talk to me about Ashes of Outland. What's the deal with Outland? Why are we going there? Outland, uh, it's this awesome place. Uh, I know you played the Burning Crusade expansion I for did. World of Warcraft a little bit. A little bit. I was mm -hmm. the first level 70 on Ner'zhul. Shout, Shout out. out to Ner'zhul. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, this, this broken world full of these diverse biomes like Hellfire and Blade's Edge and the beautiful swamps of Zangermarsh. God, I love the Zangermarsh. And, and, but of course, Black Temple, home of Illidan and the mm -hmm. Demon Hunters. 
fit perfectly. So number one, Z Zaraidi, okay, Black well, you Temple, know, you know what's coming next? Yeah. All this cool theme stuff, yada, yada. It's, cards. It's been, cards. It's been about a it's minute. Card it's card o'clock. It's been about a minute. Yeah, he has us in the card. We gotta, gotta keep fighting. Kind of yeah, yeah, it's the, you know, the, 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 the serotonin, like, dropped yes. out a little bit in my all brain. Right, it's like right, dopamine. Right, right. Uh, well, let's talk about, uh, you saw in the video here, imprisoned <laughs> demons. Yes. Yes. These are demons that start off uh, dormant for two turns, but then do something awesome. Is this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at another one. All right. Let's look at imprisoned satyr. Ooh, okay. So when this one wakes up, He's going to reduce the cost of one of the minions, hopefully a big one, in your hand by five. Five is a lot. Five is a lot. And uh, ooh, that's a, that's a big one in the hand right there with the Alex Straza. So we see it pop up. Boom. Oh, and, and crucially, that happened before the draw. So you can set this up and say, OK, only have this really big minion in my hand to yeah. reduce the cost of. Right, exactly. We think these imprisoned demons are going to be really exciting for the, the meta landscape here of Ashes of Outland because they're they're not directly interactable uh, while they're dormant, but both players can see them and prepare for them and play around them. It seems like there's a lot of a lot of uh, sort of planning ahead of okay, this is this isn't going to bother me for a while, but I got I got to figure out what to do when it pops up. Yeah, you can't stop the awakening from happening, but there's going to be a bunch of things that, that happen as a result of, mm -hmm. of, uh, of a dormant mini awakening. So right. both players can kind of prepare for it. Uh, as the pl player who's playing it, uh, you can protect it and you know synergize with what, whatever's going to happen when it awakens. And as the player playing against it, you kind of figure out what to do. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So another thing that I want to talk about, one another card here. Uh, so Ashes of Outland, Returns to Outland, this amazing nostalgia. We've got these familiar places and faces uh, like Kael'thas and Lady Vaj and such. Uh, but uh, there is, not everything's the same. There is a new threat, a okay. rusted legion that has conquered Outland and is uh, remaking it in, in their uh, image and upgrading people with these augments, especially demons. So the biggest example of this is Primes. The Rusted Legion takes fallen heroes, friend or foe, uh, and will return them to the battlefield, upgraded with, with things like armor plating and buzz saws and laser eyes. So are, as the, the resident chainsaw hand expert, are you the leader of the Rusted Legion? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Not me, but but uh, someone out there is. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's let's take a look at another prime. You, All right. You saw hmm. you saw the uh, Cargath and Lady Vaj in there. Let's look at Archbor hmm. Meshifin. Meshifin, Archbor Meshifin. Thousands of each. Primarius, the leader of the Sporgar. Uh, he's an early game taunt minion. Pretty solid stats there. But uh, when he dies, oh my! Prime. He gets big. He gets big, and he brings a big friend. Is that that on top of his head there? Oh. Is that a, a, a uh, one Michifin star restaurant? Uh, yes, yes, okay. it is. That's, right. that's canon now. Great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you probably want more down. cards. Uh, let's just take a look at some more cards here. Uh, the, you read my mind. Yeah. yeah let's yeah. go. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at a couple more legendaries. Here's a legendary weapon for warrior. The bulwark of Azanoth. I remember the bulwark of Azanoth. Yeah. This was like the, the what every tank wanted. Right. And this okay. is a pretty tank. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, in this case, it's a shield, but those spikes can definitely do some damage. Yeah, whenever you do know, damage, it loses one durability. So like they pyroblast you in the face. <laughs> one durability. <laughs> right. Aha. But also, okay. if a, a demon hunter just comes up and <laughs> with their claws, <laughs> also one durability. One durability. Okay. There's a lot of really cool she things about this card. The first is like the, the flavor wow. aspect of it. Obviously, with, with Outland and the Rusted Legion, there's kind of a new story there. No, uh, to uh, but outside of the, the lore and the story, if you're a World of Warcraft player and you kind of go back in time and you think about like what was happening during the Burning Legion, there's all items that you remember as well. Yeah. Bulwark of Azanoth is certainly like one of those. Mm -hmm. so I think if you know, you're looking for nostalgia as a player, you're going to be able to look back and see a whole bunch of things that you recognize. And Excellent. then uh, gameplay-wise, there, there's a lot of decks that actually do pretty big chunks of damage, mm -hmm. and I think like Galakrond Warrior is a pretty good example of a deck that's you know pretty popular right now. Every time they invoke, you know they maybe they have a weapon out and they're doing chunks of like six, seven damage two at a time. And Bulwark, Bulwark is going to be like a huge detriment to you know how do you, how do you play around that? And for something like Demon Hunter, they're going to get be able to get around it a little bit easier. Yep. Sure. Yep. Uh, looks like another uh, familiar face you may remember from Burning Crusade, Terran Gorfiend. Terran Gorfiend. Terran Gorfiend is a neutral legendary here. 
That's that, their uh, boss. Like destroys them, all like friendly <clears throat> minions. <clears throat> okay. First half, not so good. <laughs> <laughs> not as but, good. Death Rattle resummons them with a bot. Okay. So, uh, I mean, I can see a couple ways to use this. One is you just have minions that are already almost dead, and you're like, I'm just going to bring this back. Two, you use it with like a Death Rattle minion. I know Mechanical Up itself is going to be rotating with Boomsday Project, but something like that, you suddenly trigger your Death Rattle, and then you get another one when this guy dies. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And he's a Death Rattle minion right, himself, right, yeah. so you can trigger him multiple times and resummon a whole board, etc. Um, and lastly, another familiar face. I want to bring up Kael'thas again. <coughs> we saw this in the, the video. Uh, but Kael'thas is... Uh, there's something else you should know about him. What I want to know is how he got his third orb back after Dave dropped it. Eh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Orb glue. Uh, so, uh, Kael'thas is going to be arriving to the tavern a little early. Okay, mm -hmm. how, how early are we talking? Today. Today? Like, like right now. You could log in and uh, get <clears throat> Kale Boss. Okay. Also, free. Everybody, All right. just log in now. I Kale Boss. Boss. Now, Seriously. free Kale Boss. Right. Okay. And, and that's, yep. a, that's a really exciting card. Mm -hmm. That's a card that you yeah. can do a lot of crazy stuff with. Yeah. yeah. Every third spell you cast each turn is free. So, so like, if I play, say I'm playing, I don't know, Shaman, right? It's like, right. okay, I play this. I could play like Witch's Brew, Witch's Brew, Free Eye of the Storm, or like, yeah. I want to go really crazy, Totemic Might, Totemic Might. Oh my God. <laughs> right away. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. you have all those totems in play yeah. at yeah, the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Different okay. classes will be able to take advantage like of this. Pyroblast card. people. Yeah, yeah. A lot differently. Like, we looked at Twin mm. Slice. Mm. Really mm. Really mm. Really oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Twin Slice yeah. right there. Yeah. Like, what is the third yeah. card that we're casting? But we're going to be able to get a zero costing like right away. And wow. say, yeah, say I have two copies of Twin Slice. You're just going off. Yeah, yeah so you are going you know, off. You have okay. all kinds of stuff to do there. So different classes take advantage of it a little differently. Druid has Innervate. Priest tends to have a lot of low cost spells. Yeah. So it's something that we hope that just as, as a single card coming out, uh, it'll be change things up and change the way you think about deck building. That yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. So that's happening today. Mm -hmm. What else can people expect is going to be happening soon? Like what's the timeline we're looking at here for the rest mm -hmm. of this? Well, let's take a look at our uh, schedule coming up. Okay, so the pre-purchase for Active Online Liska. goes live today, Liska. along with uh, Priest update is, uh, Hall of Fame Zatiden. coming next week on March 26th. The Ranked Liska. Play Overhaul on <clears throat> the Season Start April 1st, Demon Hunter Prologue April 2nd, and then Ashes of Outland launches April 7th. So this okay. is all happening very fast. Yes. Very fast. The whole my, my reveal season is like a week Liska. long. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a deluge <laughs> of, of uh, okay. card stuff here. Yeah, normally, you might have to wait a little bit after whatever the reveal stream is to be like, what's the, when's the next thing coming out? But we're in a super condensed period right now. So really from today all the way up until the launch of Demon Hunter when you're going to be able to play. There's going to be jam-packed with all kinds of new stuff, new information, new stuff to get excited about.